have posts that have, you know, this one had 10,000 and then you see them posting in ones that have 300 upvotes. You're like, wow, that one wasn't as successful. Not necessarily because that could have been in a really fine niche uh, and they have discovered that niche subreddit and getting 200 some odd people on that niche subreddit might be worth 10 times what those 10,000 people on a main subreddit. I guess as we've gone over before, the more general something is, uh, the less valuable it is. Uh, I've gone over in the podcast before the word book on Google. It'd be great to own the word book, but you're not going to become a millionaire overnight from being number one on, on that. You know, if it's actually more valuable if you're doing a business book, then business book is a little bit better than book. And then investment book would be even even better. And if you wrote a book on the stock market, then it would be stock market book, even better. So think of it that way. Like think of it as it's great if you're able to succeed on a, on a, a subreddit uh, that has 2 million people on it. Um, there are not safe for work subreddits. One's called Gone Wild. Don't go to it unless you want to see not safe for work material. But people post there and again, it's throw away to people. You know, they might just, everyone subscribes to it. They just upvote. They're not really going to interact. They're not really going to say, oh, okay, I'm interested in this person. But if you move down to like a niche that you're in and that's what people are really into, then when they upvote you, they not only are going to upvote you, they might go check out your profile. The chances of them checking out your profile increase greatly. And that's the big, that's what you really want them to do on Reddit is you want them to check out your profile. So I've gone over before in the podcast and many episodes ago, so I'll go over this a bit again. Don't forget your profile on Reddit. You know, uh, sadly, unlike Instagram and Twitter, you can't see your followers, but your profile is important to getting people to come to your OnlyFans page. So you want to make sure that you pin a post at the top of your profile with your link. Now, within your profile itself, there is no hypertext. We've gone over about hypertext. Hypertext is hugely important. Hypertext makes it super easy for someone to just click and go right to your OnlyFans or go click and go right to your Instagram or right to your TikTok. They don't have to go and, you know, copy paste something and go find it. No, it goes right there. When you create your Reddit profile, it's just text. So you can, you will see there on Reddit and it'll say I'm 0.01%. And that's what the person puts in their profile. And you're like, where's your link? Because again, making it easy for people is what you want to do. So if you have on your profile and your goal is from these subreddits is to get them to your profile, Then when they get to your profile, you want to make sure at the top you have that pinned post with the link to your OnlyFans. You pin that at the top. Everything else that you do is underneath that. You can still have the profile information, but, you know, they will be able to look down and even, you know... In my ideal world, it would say point, you know, whatever percent you are in OnlyFans, then two arrows on each side of that to your pinned post. Like, there's my link. Check me out. Especially if you have a free page, uh, I would definitely, definitely just have it go check out my free page. Please interact with me. You want them to interact. You want them to be off of Reddit looking at a thousand other people. You want them to be looking exclusively at you. So the goal of all this subreddit and marketing is to get them to your profile page. So within the subreddits, you know, you have to ask yourself about the moderation. You know, so are people posting hourly on the subreddit? Now, when you isolate and you just follow that one subreddit, you're going to be able to answer that question. You know, is it okay? What's okay within this subreddit? If you're seeing the same people post hourly, you know, they're not doing it for no reason. I mean, some people do, but there might be a reason that they're posting hourly. It's not forbidden to do so. There might be some subreddits where the moderator is going to clamp down on that and doesn't want to see consistent posts. But there's other people who 
you know, other moderators who don't care, who don't mind if there's consistent posts, you know, uh, or every couple hours if they're approving. You might, you know, have a system where they've auto, as I mentioned, might be auto moderated. So you want to, to know that. Like you want to have your knowledge there and then you want to move on to the next subreddit and see, okay, what are the rules for this subreddit? Now, there's a lot of things uh, having to do with authentication. Some subreddits do require authentication, meaning you have to prove that you are you. You have to send them particular information similar to OnlyFans. We've gone over before in the podcast. If you can do that, you know, if you're comfortable with that, you're going to have a subreddit that's going to have a lot less trash spam in it, a lot less random posts. You're going to be more exclusive. So if you are able to take the time for that, that's definitely worth it. Uh, But if you're not comfortable with that, there's a lot of subreddits. So if you're feeling like someone is treating their subreddit like their little fiefdom uh, and they're, you know, unreasonable about things, try to move on to the next subreddit and don't get too upset. Uh, If you use any Uh, subreddit. Almost everyone who's a creator or ever been on Reddit has had some sort of ban from some sort of moderator. Again, this is not Reddit. Um, You get these official looking statements and underneath is is my favorite part where it says, you know, if you change your name, um, you know, or try to, you know, obfuscate this ban and by changing your name and signing back up, you can get kicked off all of Reddit. And because it's against the terms and services. So it's, again, what's being stated is correct. You shouldn't do that. But they're adding this language on to, you know, these statements of banning as if this is Reddit. And it makes people feel like they're talking to Reddit. Think about it this way. You can create a subreddit today for your name. And now you are the fiefdom. And if someone comes in and you don't like them, you can ban them and send them the same thing you just saw. I mean, that that's how official it is. You know what I mean? Like, so don't get discouraged if someone throws down a ban and use, uses all this, you know, official sounding language. Like you're in some big trouble on Reddit. You're not. Trust me, your chances of you doing anything awful uh, is very low. People who are doing really awful things will be removed from Reddit. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. If you do run afoul of one of these subreddits, that this is just a power hungry move that someone is making against you. Don't let it discourage you from continuing to use Reddit because Reddit is great for advertising. And again, it's free. So, you know, Also, never post without adding a link if this is allowed. So if you are on an OnlyFans subreddit, of which there are a lot of them, you are allowed to use your link. Now, again, make sure that it's hypertext. So if you put the link underneath, always include the HTTP. That's how you know that it will be hypertext. So if you put HTTP and then the colon, the backslashes and everything, look at your URL line at the top of the browser you're using and copy it that way. That way you make sure that it's a hyperlink. Go back and look after you've posted, okay, is this turn, did this turn into a hyperlink? And then just copy paste that and keep it in your clipboard on your phone as a permalink. So that whenever you post, you're going to be able to just instantly put that link at the bottom. Now, if you're not allowed to do that, which for uh, most only non-OnlyFans subreddits, you're not, uh, you want to just put a message under there. Something that just says, you know, hey, everyone, I'm available. Or, hey, guys, you know, what's up? Something that lets people know that a real person is there and engaging. Even if you end up not coming back, which is, you know, life happens. But if each time you post, you put something underneath letting people know that you're you're there. Uh, and, you know, even saying something like, hey, would love a message. Feel free to message me. Hit me up on my profile. Again, you want them to do that. You want them to go to the profile. And I highly, highly recommend if you post and someone comments underneath your post, follow them. Again, they will get an alert that they were followed by you. 
you, they then can follow you afterwards. Some people do, some people don't. But again, since no one really sees what's going on here, the only thing that you're going to have negative with the following is that they are going to appear in your feed. So if they start posting, you know, you can always unfollow them later because you don't like what they're posting. But this gives you an opportunity to have them following your profile. That gives you an opportunity to post again to your profile like it's your own personal subreddit. And when you post to your personal profile, that is something that if someone is following you, they will see what you just uh, posted. So I would also say as a last point, don't just post, you know, in picture subreddits. Uh, Now, picture subreddits are great, and that's what gets a lot of people's attention. But again, try to comment in regular uh, subreddits you know, about things people are interested in. If you're, if you just happen to be interested in something that you think your audience would be interested in, and I'm just going to use maybe anime or a video game and you say, okay, some of my audience might be interested in this. Let me go ahead and comment and build up karma and, you know, people will notice me because not everyone is out there directly looking to subscribe to OnlyFans. Not everyone is hanging out and say a not safe for work subreddit. Um, some, you know, although it seems shocking for people who live OnlyFans daily, there's people who've never even heard of OnlyFans. There's some people who would never even know that it existed. So by getting into the com- the broader community, you will be able to be seen by other people who aren't just in those particular subreddits that a lot of people go through. Now, I will say that it's hard to stand out in the bigger subreddits, you know. Then that's why I say that you really want to get the feel for the subreddit. You want to get a feel for how often you can post. Take any advantage that you can get from a timing standpoint, for the amount of posts you can do, you know, is it You want, obviously, your strongest picture. You basically want to be able to be seen somehow. So I would definitely just concentrate on learning the subreddit that you feel you really want to be impactful on. And as I mentioned, it's great to to get into those subreddits. It's great to be the highest voted person on those subreddits. But those niche subreddits are likely going to be more valuable for you. And then, as I mentioned, just you want to post text, you want to engage as much as possible, you want to comment on other people's posts. Again, legitimate posts, not promotion posts, not, hey, check out my OnlyFans, but actually engaging. And again, on things that you're interested in, that you're knowledgeable about, that you feel your audience might also be knowledgeable about. And, you know, if you're doing mainly not safe for work material, I'm sure you have safe for work material. I'm sure there's plenty of subreddits, even from a picture standpoint, where you can put your pictures in there uh, legitimately and, you know, get a whole other group of people who might be interested in you. Okay, so that was subreddit marketing secrets for only fans. Again, my name is Richard Lewis. I am the founder of OnlyFans Hero and the Learn OnlyFans Marketing 101 course on Udemy. You can find this podcast on Instagram at OnlyFans Secrets Podcast. You can also find us on Reddit, of course, at r slash OnlyFans Secrets, which is a marketing community on Reddit. Uh, as well as we are on OnlyFans itself, of course, at OnlyFans.com slash OnlyFans Hero, or I would love for you to subscribe and follow where I can give you the latest updates on this podcast. We're also on TikTok at OF Secrets Podcast, as well as always being on Twitter uh, at OnlyFans Hero, where we run hourly free promotions for OnlyFans creators. Please jump on there and follow us there and take advantage of all of those posts. Drop your links and pictures uh, daily. Would love that. And as always, you can reach out to me at OnlyFans Hero. If you have any questions about this podcast, any questions about Only 
fans. Have any questions you want included in our Sunday Secrets episode? I would love that. I'd like to thank you guys for leaving reviews. I see that you started doing more of that for the podcast, which really helps. And if you have an opportunity to leave a review for this podcast, it certainly helps other people find that it exists. And that means a lot to me. And it 